in this lesson we will be discussing about forward propagation and the backward propagation so what does it mean that neural network has a method to calculate its weights and then on those weights different set of points are being calculated in the neurons in the hidden layers and then on the basis of those weights and the calculation we will be getting any output is that um, is it a uh, apple or banana for example so, so the basis of, of overall neural network is based upon the weights and we update the weights and take the output desired output and then we recalculate the weights by back back tracing the whole network so that we can update the weights and then from those updation of weights there is a high chance that we can might have a good prediction so moving forward we have something called we have input layer these are the hidden layer this is hidden layer one and these are the neurons which which will take the input and which will multiply divide um, which will apply the formula which is prescribed then we have hidden two and then on those hidden layers and on those inputs and output we will be having one output that whether this image is being classified into a banana or a apple so if we go towards this thing so we have an activation function and you can say that this is the activation function that this this is the bias weight here and we have weight 7 this is coming from which uh, neuron it is coming from hidden one so we will be having weight 7 into hidden one plus then we will be having weight to weight 8 into hidden 2 and weight 9 into hidden 3 so the neuron and the weights are being multiplied with each other and then it will be then out input of another neuron uh, so that it can take some values it can take some calculation and predict us the right thing so similarly here we have something called this is an output layer and for this output layer we, we will be adding a bias weight 7 and this weight 6 into hidden 4 weight 17 into hidden 5 and weight 18 into hidden 6 and, and on these weights this output layer is being share as a threshold that this this will generate a value and the neural network had defined a threshold that if the value is greater than this classify this if the value is less than this this threshold classify this so on these basis of weights we calculate the whole uh, output so so this is the forward propagation and what is that it is it is moving in forward direction so it is a forward propagation but what does a backward propagation mean so once the weights are being calculated once the output layer is being calculated we will be having something called error and then those error will be trans translate into these hidden input neuron these neuron and then these neurons will be having updating the weights so that we can have a correct output so if we go towards this thing then this is the uh, this is the uh, neuron which we need to recalculate and so we have hidden 4 g hidden 4 plus weight 16 into error of output 1 this is the error of output 1 and it will be calculated by the weight 16 wow, wow, why it is error so for example we can say that we have a one value and 0.6 percent uh, the our output in the forward progression is gone right 0.6 percent so what is the error it is 0.4 percent so or, or we can say that 40 percent is the error so this 40 percent error will be multiplied with this with this weight and then it will take the calculation and then it will try to update the weight 
so that the output the error can be decreased from 40 to 20 or 40 to 10 percent so on and so forth so this is the whole idea to update the weights uh, over the back propagation and taking the error because error will show us that this is the error rate and this this is this much your model has not performed very well so taking that error and multiplying with the updated weights will benefit us in correct prediction so if we see that here that it's weight 16 and it's an error of output 1 and then plus it's weight 19 and it's error of output 2 then it will go towards this thing then it we will be having the calculation for this neuron also so for this neuron we will be having weight 7 into error of hidden 4 plus weight 10 into error of hidden 5 and weight 13 into error of hidden 16 so what is the error it will multiply with the weight so that the error should be way less and we can have a correct output so this back propagation will done till the first hidden layer for all the neuron of the first hidden layer apart from input layer that we in, in input layer we cannot update so it means that if we are changing the if we are updating the input layer so it means we are changing the whole picture if I am passing an apple picture now I am passing a banana picture no uh, the model should not be having an input layer uh, change so this is the whole story then in this this hidden layer will also be updated and then it will calculate the all the weights and then it will when all the weights are being updated then it is high chance that we can have a great prediction overall so this is the whole story about forward and backward propagation which which is the essential part in the neural network and I will request you to please go through this documentation which is comprehensive enough and it will give you a whole whole outlook what is forward and backward and how it works